Okay, the next question, question 3, um, C, have to use the table that um, we have, and I filled this table out already, so we can see um, that I've filled in the 0 0.34, the 0 0.36, and so on, which is just fairly standard. Find the probability that if a person is happy in their work, they left their job. So again, we recognize this as conditional probability, if a person is happy. So they left their job. Now, the percentage of employees leaving their job was 14%. 14%. Now, what that means is if we look at um, our table, I've got it marked here because basically left their jobs is 14% means basically this scenario here encompasses people leaving their job and this scenario here encompasses people leaving their job and that constitutes 14% or 0.14. So if we take a look Um, the simplest way to do this problem is to actually use some basic algebra um, because what we know is is that what we're trying to find here this is what you have to realize is I'm trying to find this component here that if they're happy they left their job I need to find this probability in red that's my unknown now if I treat that as an unknown I can do this by basic algebra because I know that first of all I've got to figure out what the probability of this branch here is and if I knew what the probability of this branch is I can add them together and I know that they have to equal 0.15 so I'm just going to set it up as an algebra expression and, and I think that for some of these questions this is not probability really a method but it's using probability and algebra together so basically I know that if I take 0.34 times 0.36 which is this branch here and I add the other branch which is 0.66 times and I don't know what that is that's my unknown x and it equals 0.14 well that's an algebra expression it's an algebra expression so if I multiply this out it's 0.11224 plus, and that's 0.66x, is equal to 0.14. And that's 0.66x, which equals 0 0.0176, which gives me x is equal to 0 0.027 if I round that off. And that, ladies, is the answer to that question. There is a more formal way of doing this, and I'm going to show you that in just a second.